Am I the butthole for cancelling my own debt to my brother after he let his kids run amok with my art supplies? Posted by C. Smith on 100,000. I currently owe my brother a run. $300 he fronted me some money for a family vacation and said I could pay him back in December 3 paycheck month. My husband and I are hosting a small Thanksgiving this year with the family members who live within driving distance and my brother's family arrived on Monday to stay through the weekend. His two kids 3 and 6 are generally well behaved but they are still kids so I let him know to keep them out of the bonus room currently half finished in my craft room. You all know where this is going so I'll just cut to the chase. I came home yesterday to find a kid splayed out on the living room floor surrounded by art supplies in ruined condition. They were finger painting with my gouache and had completely cross-contaminated the colours, drawn on my good watercolour paper with copy markers completely crushing the tips of the markers as well and ruined or dirtied several items that my friend had brought me from Korea. I confronted my brother, who was nonchalantly watching TV, and he told me that he didn't let the kids go in the craft room, he had gone in himself and grabbed them just a couple things to entertain themselves with. He agreed to buy me replacements until I actually started tallying up the cost then backtracked and said the price was bullcrap and started insisting that most of the stuff was still in usable condition. I said fine, you don't have to replace anything, but you can forget about vacation money. He snapped at me not to argue in front of the kids. I said who's arguing? Sounds like the conversation is over. Mavi wants me to pay the vacation money immediately and work out the replacing of the art supplies after. I feel like he's just going to try to haggle me or is going to replace my stuff with Crayola and call it even. Update, the cost to replace the ruined items minus the Korean supplies would be about $225. Getting an idea of the replacement cost of the Korean stuff is a bit harder, it was mostly journaling slash stationary supplies so I am not 100% sure how to determine the cost of, for example, a half-used book of stickers or a bullet journal that has several pages scribbled in. There was also a set of stamps that the kids tried to use squatch slash markers on, which I am not yet sure if they are going to need replacing or if they can be cleaned off without staining. I was fully prepared to just compartmentalize this whole thing for the next day to get through the holiday, but my husband ended up making a call to my ex-sister-in-law brother's ex and the kid's mom and discussed with her what had happened. She was particularly upset that the three-year-old was allowed to finger paint with supplies that were not specifically kid-friendly and non-toxic, and she called my brother immediately and shooed him out for that. She also called our parents about it, which turned into a call from our mother to our brother, also chewing him out for being irresponsible. And although no one brought up the money ankle and I didn't expect them to, he was rattled enough to apologize for yesterday and hasn't mentioned the money. I think I will just pay to replace what I can and consider as even. Here is my AI opinion. It sounds like your brother owes you an apology and some replacement supplies. It's understandable that he may have been trying to entertain his children, but it was irresponsible of him to let them use your art supplies without your permission. The fact that he then tried to downplay the damage and haggle with you over the cost of replacements is also not cool. I think you are right to be upset and to set boundaries around what you are and are not comfortable with in terms of your belongings and your space. It's important to communicate your needs and expectations clearly, especially when it comes to something as important as your art supplies. In terms of the money, it sounds like you have already discussed that with your brother and decided to put it aside for now. I would recommend keeping track of the cost of the replacement supplies and bringing it up again at a later time if necessary. Overall, it's important to prioritize your own needs and boundaries in this situation and to communicate clearly and assertively with your brother about what you are and are not comfortable with. What would you do in this situation? Do you think it's fair for the OP to pay for the replacement of the ruined items? Terry says likes to add. Not the butthole. Take the cost of replacement supplies out of the amount you owe him. Provide him links to the supply listings with costs for the exact replacements you purchased. Proper art supplies are expensive. It isn't your fault that he didn't know that and just gave his kids your supplies without your permission so he didn't have to entertain his own kids. A comment from Pink Jim. Not the butthole. Debt is debt. That is why a ledger shows both credits and debits. You and your brother have a ledger of transactions between you. He gave you $300 so you were at minus 300 it is totally justified to now use the art supply debt that he owes you to calculate off your debt. But, bear in mind, if you are able to replace everything at 175 which is your cursory estimation and no not final, then yes, you should still pay your brother 125. Don't do anything yet. 
figure out what needs to be replaced, replace it, take a photo of the receipts, and text it to your brother. If it comes out to 325, tell him he owes you $25. If it comes out to 275, send him the $25 you owe. To your listener, if you want more of this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. Am I the butthole for telling my sister she was naive when she thought her daughter would suddenly see her stepdaughter as a true sister when they didn't get along before? Hosted by Trick Ganesha 7660. My sister has an 18 year old daughter, Casey. It was just the two of them for 10 years. Case never knew her dad, which means my sister had sole custody of Case. When she was little, Casey used to talk a lot about how there were these mean girls in school. One of them, Valerie, Case disliked more than the others. She was the worst. My sister did her fair share of complaining about the dad too, especially when she had to replace an eraser a couple of weeks into school starting because Valerie broke it. When Case was nine, my sister and Valerie's dad started to spend time together and then they got married a year later. There was a lot of shock on my part seeing as my sister knew how Case felt about Valerie and given her own complaints about Valerie's dad allowing her to get away with so much. But he's an attractive guy and I guess that won out over everything else. The announcement to Case went about as well as can be expected. She was furious at her mom. More so on her wedding day because my sister wanted the girls to match and look like sisters for the first time. Valerie used the wedding to taunt some of Case's friends saying she was going to replace them with her. It only added fuel to an already bright fire. Case ultimately refused to take part in a wedding on the day and sat with me. Things in their household were tense for years afterward. My sister would get upset that Case was so mad about it that she didn't change her opinion of Valerie at all and that she would very strongly deny that they were sisters. About two years after she got married, my sister decided they all needed family therapy. It was only in the last two years that Valerie appears to have grown and from the outside it does not look like she's a bully she once was. But Case still cares nothing for her. Both girls graduated in May and Case moved out and in with me, wanting to get away from Valerie. The other day my sister and I met up for lunch and she was venting about Case not talking to Valerie at all and how Valerie had wanted them to meet up every day after classes started they go to different colleges but both are local, but Case didn't even answer her. She said she thought after all these years Case would see Valerie as a true sister and even if she didn't like her, there would be some sense of family loyalty there. I was shocked to hear my sister say that. She noticed and asked me why I look like a fish. I told her I had never expected her to be so naive to think Case would feel that way when she hated Valerie long before she my sister met her husband. My sister's attitude changed very fast and she told me that I'm the naive little brother to think these things don't change when family bonds are created. I told her that family bonds aren't created that easily when there is already bad blood present, no matter how much she might want them to be there. She told me I owed her an apology and she'll be waiting for it. Am I the butthole? Here is my AI opinion. You are not the am I the butthole butthole in this case. Your sister is. She is being incredibly selfish and naive to think that Casey would just magically forgive and forget Valerie's past behavior. It's understandable that Casey still doesn't like Valerie after all these years, and it's not fair of your sister to expect her to put aside her feelings just because she's family. Your sister needs to accept that family bonds aren't always easy to form, especially when there is a history of conflict. She owes you an apology for expecting you to validate her unrealistic expectations. What do you think? Do you have any other opinions or suggestions about this situation? Do you think Casey should talk to Valerie? Do you think your sister was naive to think that Casey would automatically accept Valerie as a sister? Urbanita Zero commented. Not the butthole your sister chose her partner over her daughter bringing her bully into her home and trying to force them to play nice. Her daughter will never forgive, forget, or get over that. Well done for supporting your niece. OP answers always. She's always going to have a place with my family. Honestly, we love having her live with us. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.